New Ghostbusters 2 for the Nintendo Entertainment System, a 1990 release courtesy of HAL Laboratories. This was a game that never got a North American release due to Activision owning the Ghostbusters license around this time, and they had already released their own version of Ghostbusters 2 on the NES that we'll save for another time. But thanks to its inclusion on an NES multi-cart, I was able to play new Ghostbusters 2, and I feel sad this was never released back in the day, because this is pretty fun and something I would have enjoyed as a younger fellow. The game is relatively straightforward in concept. You choose from one of the four Ghostbusters and even Louis Tully if you're feeling a bit bold. Not that it really matters since all five characters play the same way for the most part. In any event, you basically go through six overhead levels roaming from room to room, catching ghosts with your proton beams and super traps. And that's about it really. Simple, straightforward stuff. You catch the ghost with your beam, you hold it until your partner is in position, you activate the trap, and the ghost is gone. Once the current room is cleared of ghosts, you move on to the next room where you get to do the whole thing over again, and you keep doing this until the last room where you face off against a boss of some sort. One hit is enough to lose a life, and if you exhaust all your lives, it's game over. Though you do have a couple continues that will let you restart the level you last died in. No passwords or anything of the sort, but the game is fairly short, and if you want, there's a hidden options menu that you can access by holding down both face buttons on the title screen while pressing start, which allows you to change the difficulty, the button mapping, and access the game's sounds test. And you know what? This is a fun little action game that's pretty simple to digest from the get-go. It has a nice, balanced difficulty where the first couple levels are a bit on the easy side, enough to acclimate you to the way the game works, but soon picks up steam by the third level or so. It more or less follows the basic plot of the film, starting at the courthouse, riding the train, eventually ending it in the museum. There's no Statue of Liberty to ride in, which is no big loss though. The two-man team you control works well enough, though at times your ghost trap bearing partner might get stuck in certain places, and trying to reach your location while you have a ghost caught in your beam might be problematic at times. Narrow corridors I find is also not a perfect situation. Despite a couple setbacks, I like the overall idea, it's done well enough for the most part, and the control is pretty solid. New Ghostbusters 2 has tiny Ghostbuster and human caricatures with very simplistic looking animations. I like that each Ghostbuster is easily distinguishable from each other, even Egon and Lewis have minor details to distinguish them, and they look pretty cute for the most part. The ghost designs are somewhat creative, mostly taken from the film, and the various stages you traverse in look pretty good as well. Same for the sound department. Game opens with a rather upbeat interpretation of the Ghostbusters theme, and follows up with some snazzy tunes that serenade you throughout the rest of the game. And the sound effects are pleasant enough, nothing really special in that department. Overall, New Ghostbusters 2 is a game that, again, I wish was available back in the day, because compared to the other Ghostbuster games on the 8-bit Nintendo, this is probably the best of the bunch. It doesn't try too hard, it has a simple and unique playstyle that's easy enough to digest, has a bit of energy to it, and it's a genuinely fun game to play. The only thing that probably would have made it better would have been a somewhat robust multiplayer component, but as it is, it's still a splendid little game. Definitely one worth checking out if you get the chance.